Hello everyone and welcome to this pick a pile reading about your finances, about work, about career, anything you're manifesting right now. Let's tap in with the angels of abundance and see what you need to know because there is unknown crazy times in the world right now. So sometimes we need some reassurance that we're going to be okay and that's what this reading will do today. It will give you angel guidance about your stability and your life to come. So thank you for being here and if you are new to the channel welcome subscribe join our family because we're here for you every day so for this reading we're going to use the powerful angels of abundance deck and we're going to use three piles with three things i've received from one of our amazing soul sisters she created these for me so we've got pile one we've got this beautiful like stick with a unicorn on at the top there for pile one we've got this beautiful flower with a shell on for pile number two and we've got this powerful cane for pile number three beautiful colors so we've got pile one pile two and pile three so i'm going to shuffle the card so just tap into the energy ask the angels while i'm shuffling because every day i'm shuffling what you want them to tell you right now and i'm going to shuffle so thank you angels what do we need to know for pile one Wow, just one card. What to wow, pile two, there we go. And pile three. Wow, so just one card for each one, jumping out of the deck. So we've got pile one, pile two, and pile three. Okay, I'm gonna time stamp it so I need a pen. Okay, so we've got one, two, and three. Let's do this then. Okay, so we're gonna start with pile one at 145. Welcome pile one. So I love this because you've got a unicorn and unicorns are connected with healing and I've just grabbed the pen and the pen's a unicorn too. So I feel if you start seeing unicorns today or within the next week or two weeks, it's a big sign that you're going through healing, that there's healing coming in because unicorns are very healing. You know, they bring in power and strength too, but they're very loving and nurturing. And I feel when I'm tapping in with the unicorn, this is about enchantment. And it's about remembering that you have an inner child within you that needs your love. So following your dreams, your passions, the things that make your heart sink. If you feel that maybe life's a bit too serious right now, this is your sign to have some fun, to make it more playful, to do what you dream about and bring in what you desire. And we've got quiet retreat coming in for you. Quiet retreat. So this means you may need some quiet time right now to work out what you want, to tap in with your intuition, to go within, to have that quiet time with you to really breathe and relax and ask yourself the question, what do I want right now? What do I desire for my future? Where am I going in my life? What do I need to change? What do I need to release? Am I happy? All the questions that go through your mind. When you go within and have quiet time, you're able to answer them. It's also a sign that maybe you need to switch off your phone or switch off social media, even just for an hour to have some quiet time, to have a quiet retreat, which means go within and spend some time by yourself. Maybe you're thinking of going somewhere and you're wondering if you'll have the money to do it or you'll be able to do that with the restrictions. The angels are showing you that you are safe and you are loved and protected. It's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. So if you're changing something in your life, and you want to know what to do and you've been praying and asking for help, you just need to quiet your mind to receive the answers. And quiet time can be meditation, breath work, going for a walk, connecting in nature, just doing something that relaxes your mind because sometimes when we overthink, our mind goes on overdrive and we can't see the answers or we can't see clearly enough to know what to do. So if you're in that phase of your life right now where you need to make a decision or you need to make a change, 
The angels are asking you to spend some time within and you'll be shown the way. And remember, you have beautiful angels right by your side. I'm feeling the pink angels around you. So you've got romance angels surrounding you, helping you to know that you are loved, that you are safe and you are strong and that you are protected. You've got Archangel Ariel, the money angel, the angel of financial support, resources, opportunities and growth, helping you to know that you will be given everything that you desire and everything that you need when you see that, when you trust and believe. And if the sirens go off in your life, if you're not receiving something right now, it just may not be ready for you or you may not be ready for it. So you have to trust in divine timing that everything is happening for a reason. And Archangel Jophiel, the beauty angel, to help you to be grateful to see the beauty in all things, to see the goodness in your life because gratitude is the greatest multiplier. So if you want more, be grateful now for what you have now and then the universe will bless you with more. But quiet time is needed. So if you find that there's always people around you or you haven't got a minute to yourself, or you need some new time, this is your answer. And if you've got a twin flame as well, you know, if you've gone into separation, it's because you need some quiet time or your twin needs some quiet time to get your energy back because this card also signifies four of swords energy, which is all about releasing, you know, relaxing, working out your next steps, thinking, contemplation, working things out, finding solutions. So I really feel that's the energy you're in. So if you're thinking of making a decision, or if you want to know how to move forward, what to do next, what your next steps are, go within. And if you're connecting with your person, this is also what they are going through right now because you're mirrors of each other. So relax, let go and trust your journey. You are safe. So powerful. Pile number two. So we've got pile number two coming in at 6.55. I'll put 6.55. Welcome pile two. So thank you for being here. And if you've chosen this beautiful flower, this is a sign that things are blooming for you right now. Things are blossoming. Things are growing. They're also showing me the shell in this for listening. Your ear chakras are awakening right now and aligning so that you can use them to hear the truth, to understand things on a much deeper level, to receive answers to your prayers, to hear guidance, to hear the messages coming through in songs and things you overhear things that you hear that will guide you forward and show you the truth so you're being guided here we've got release jealousy wow now sometimes when we get jealous whether we this is about a twin flame journey that you're in someone at work you know anything that's going on when we're jealous it's because we feel the lack of something or we don't feel good enough. So this is something you're working on right now. So don't let this trigger you because what triggers you heals you. You may not even realize that this is what you're releasing. Perhaps this is what you're working on releasing and you're aware of that right now or you've done the work and this is your sign that when you release jealousy, everything you want comes in. And this is a good one for me to talk about because this was the big one that I had to release. I was jealous about everything because I didn't feel good enough. I didn't feel that I was enough. I always felt abandoned or, you know, that nobody loved me as much as I loved them. And I had to keep giving to try and win love or win things or win situations. So I had to release that, that emotion because jealousy, it's really like um, one of the seven deadly sins. It's fearful. It's negative energy. And instead, we have to move into the energy of love, the fruit of the spirit with kindness. So jealousy, how we release jealousy is by understanding that we are enough. So it's all about self-love. So if you've chosen this pile, you're working or you're being guided to work on self-love. And if you feel like, oh, I'm not a jealous person, you know, don't get triggered by this card. Just see it for what it is, an opportunity to love yourself more because when you love yourself more you release this energy of jealousy 
And the message says, jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something. And the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people's successes inspire rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, so can you. So if things feel a bit shaky, you know, this is obviously connected with financial support and money, but it's also about your twin flame journey. And that's what I'm feeling, the lack of something. So you may feel jealous because your person is in another situation. It could be involved in a karmic relationship. You know, they could be with someone else. They could be married. They could have kids or they could be spending more time on their career or, you know, on an addiction, or a friendship, or family situation, and you feel jealous because they are spending time and energy with someone who isn't you, and that's because you feel like something is missing, you feel like it's missing, that person needs to give you time and energy and love to fulfill you, well, happiness is an inside job, and the angels want you to understand this today, that nothing is missing in spiritual truth. In spiritual truth, you receive everything, all of the rewards, all of the validation, all of the energy, everything you need comes from above, and it's your connection with source. So allow that to fill up your cup, and understand that if the universe is showing something to you, it's an opportunity for you to know that you can have that too. So if you're asking for something and then you're constantly seeing it everywhere, it's an opportunity to be grateful for that thing because the universe is giving you a preview of what you want. The universe is giving you a preview of your coming attraction, which means that you can have that thing. But if you go into doubt or fear when you see it and you think, well, someone else has got it, the universe is messing with me, it's not mine right now, you're in the energy of fear. And jealousy is just a fearful emotion and fear is illusion. It's a false experience appearing to be real. In spiritual truth, you have enough and you are enough and you can manifest the life of your dreams. So release jealousy by knowing that you are enough, you are good enough, and nobody compares to you. You are special and strong and unique, and you are unlike anybody else, and nobody will ever compare to you. Nobody will ever be you. So when you start loving yourself, and embracing the qualities within you, then you allow blessings into your life, because then you're saying thank you to the creator for your life, for being you, and then the universe will bless you, and everything you want, everything you've ever desired, everything you've ever been jealous of, it's all going to start coming into you anyway, you're going to be attracting your dreams, so release any fear, any jealousy, any anger, any resentment or bitterness, by loving yourself and when you love yourself more your world your life your journey is going to unfold like this beautiful flower but be very open to what you're hearing and don't get triggered either by things you hear or things you see in your 3d world you have to see things through the eyes of love through the eyes of heaven and see things with a loving perspective and then everything else will fall into place i hope this helps have a great day and i'll see you soon wow pile number three at we're on 1307 welcome pile number three so you've chosen this beautiful cane here and the angels are showing you there's lots of different things in your life right now to be grateful for lots of colors they're also showing me this as a cross so this is a sign of protection that you are supported by heaven and that you are safe so release any fears right now because you are enough and you are strong we've got block out distractions wow block out distractions so maybe there's things going on in your 3d world right now that are distracting you from the truth or distracting you from your mission or distracting you from getting things done so the angels are asking you to block out distractions that could be that person that keeps speaking to you and you need to just get on with your work and that could be through social media it could be your phone ringing or it could be someone in your own home or your environment. So you have to block out distractions. You have to know that you are safe and also give me... I don't know if you can hear that. That's like a van reversing. So sometimes we have to... Thank you, angels. We have to block out noise. 
outside noise that can distract us. That means turn off the television, turn off the news, negative thinking, you know, things about the pandemic, raise your vibration and know that you are loved and safe. You know, sometimes when I'm doing a reading, the, I could feel that, you know, outside influences are getting to me. But I have to look past all of that and tap into where I am to block out distractions. And Archangel Michael will shield you and he will keep you safe. So go somewhere today where you can block out all distractions and you can focus on you. Your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. So it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and your working environment by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important. You already know what these distractions are and you have the power to responsibly block them out. So you have the power to remove yourself from anything that's toxic or negative to you or your environment, anything that's dragging you down. And this is really powerful. And if you've been guided to piles one and three, it's about quiet time, retreat and going within. So the angels are always speaking to you. Your guides are always communicating with you, but sometimes there's distractions and you can't hear or see or feel the guidance from above. So if you've been asking for your prayers to be answered, if you've been asking for guidance and you don't feel that you're receiving any answer, then you have to block out distractions to receive the answer that's coming to you now because the angels are always guiding you as soon as you ask for help they are there they will show you the answers they will show you the way they will give you direction so block out the distractions to see the truth and sometimes this can also mean blocking out things that block you which means you have to step out of your own way sometimes maybe you're trying to control everything when you can control nothing so you have to step out of the way and let the universe take control or you have to block out things that you find that you're codependent to, you're holding on to or things you're addicted to like certain foods, maybe alcohol, you know, anything in your life that you need to release. But I feel this is mainly about blocking out negative thinking, your own thoughts can sometimes work overtime other people that seem to be trying to pull you off your path or move you on a new direction or a different direction. You have to stand your ground because you know your truth. So allow yourself to go within to find out the answers, to receive the guidance and know that you are protected from above. You are supported by loving angels. You have all of heaven by your side. Your creator is speaking to you and you are safe. So to increase your money, your circumstances to bring in the life of your dreams block out distractions so you can receive this divine wisdom coming from above and then you'll be shown what to do you'll receive blessings and everything will fall into place have a great day release fear too thank you okay they're giving me fear release fears too by knowing that you are safe have a great day sending you so much love and i'll see you soon